The delay in recorded audio on the officer's body camera is not a setting Milwaukee police put in place, but it's actually how the technology is set up. Ricky Mitchell joins us live from the police administration building to answer questions about these cameras. Well, Carol, I spoke with the company that makes the cameras worn by Milwaukee police officers. They said that that 30 second delay in the audio is uh, not something that um, that they that not something that the police department wanted, but it's something part of the technology. It was actually a compromise to get police departments on board with wearing them. When a Milwaukee police officer shot and killed Seville Smith, police chief Edward Flynn said body camera video showed the entire incident took about 25 seconds. I know that. The video starts as the officer is still in the vehicle, and then about 30 seconds later, the audio also kicks in. According to the company that makes this technology, the cameras are always on and always recording, but it's up to the individual officer to save a recorded event. If there's no sound during the shooting, that means that was occurring before the camera was actually activated. When officers wearing this particular model of camera want to save an incident, they have to double click on the camera. The camera will then go back and save the previous 30 seconds of video in case something important happened before the camera was activated. At the moment they double click, audio begins recording. The officer's duties are to turn the cameras on, but when public safety is of concern or something expeditiously occurs, they're to do their job first. They're not there to be camera producers. When they can and try and get to that double click, that's great. That ensures they capture it, but that's how the system's designed to work. The company says when the technology was first introduced, many police unions feared that officer and citizen privacy would be at risk if the cameras recorded every single conversation. That 30 second audio delay was a compromise to ensure that when officers double click the camera, they know audio is being recorded. This was a win win for everyone. You still preserve the video evidence, but protect some of that privacy that was occurring before an event occurred. Now, we don't know the exact point in which audio started recording in the Seville Smith shooting, only that there's a 30 second delay before the audio kicks in. Now, Chief Lynn has said previously that officers, uh, at least the one officer, did give a command to Smith to drop his weapon, and he did not comply with that command. But it's unclear if that command can be heard on the audio from this body cam footage. Carol? Ricky, with all of these questions, did the Attorney General say at all when the video of the shooting of Seville Smith might be released? 